the first thing I want to do is just take a quick step back and say that AI is in your life every day, right? So the things that are happening on your phone, the autofill of things uh, in emails and stuff like that, spam detection in emails, all of these are using AI in the background. Large companies that are selling you things online that say things like customers who bought this also bought blank. That's also AI. So AI is operating in the background in a ton of different areas and really impacting our lives every day. So we're using it in the practice in, in many different ways, right? Like if you're typing something in a medical record and you get an autofill, that's already AI that's trying to make your life a little bit easier to finish that. But then from a medical standpoint, the places where AI is going to be adopted first and most easily are places that are heavy in data. And one of the areas that is super heavy in data is medical imaging. So it's one of the places where AI has been adopted first in human medicine. And it's also one of the areas we're seeing it here. We're seeing veterinary radiology or veterinary imaging being one of the first sort of pathways for artificial intelligence in veterinary medicine. It's not the only one, though. We're also seeing it in other areas that have imaging, so cytology, histopathology, there is AI being done there. And then we can also see it through just general medical records. So there are AI systems, including natural language processing, so systems which can take the written word and extract their meaning from it, which are able to help you know, identify and analyze medical records as well or even things like blood work, where we have values and data there that we can start to use AI to do different tasks that we want it to do, whether it's prediction, classification, um, and other kinds of, of activities. So okay. those are the main places that we're seeing AI right now in VetMed. And um, only a few commercial entities are really out there. A lot of it is still in the research area, but veterinary radiology specifically has a, a number of commercial entities that are starting to, to make a full way foray into practice and are, are starting to be used by clinics.